Hey guys, welcome to Hanbury. I think that's how you say it. Um, I saw this on Steam a couple days ago. Well, a couple weeks ago, actually. And I thought it was pretty interesting from what I've seen. So, instead of lollygagging, let's get right into it. Crackhead Ghost Games presents. Why did I choke? Just a fair note, I, ha I don't know anything about this, or don't know any context, I just decided to jump right into it. We're in a boat. Do you see that light? Are these the same people? Yes, I think so. No, this is a different person. And we have Andrew. There have been several different disappearances in the area throughout the years. Many go in, few come out. Police are telling the citizens to enter at your own risk and be very safe if hiking in the area. Police are currently investigating. What do you think? Andrew and Isabel. What an odd pair. Seems like a good location to me. Creepy atmosphere, stories, and location. Do we have our passports? Yeah, they're in the safe. Screw it, let's go. Going to look up some flights. Can you make sure that our passports are there? Yeah, no problem. This is a stupid idea. <laughs> Why are you going then? But the stories are so convincing. Ah, yes, I like to move to the side to type on my computer as well, Andrew. I don't like staring at the screen. Two weeks later. Is it loading? Have I broken it already? No, it's loading. All the camera equipment is in the car. I put your luggage in as well. Why well, aren't you Chilarius? Chivalarius? I don't know. Oh jeez, don't you even start with that. If you're done here, we should get going. Our place to our place. Our plane departs at four. Ready when you are. You have quite a drive ahead of us. At least an hour. So where are they flying to? Portland. Maine, USA. 8.28 a.m. I have no idea where this is besides the fact it's in USA. I don't know a lot of places in USA, to be fair. What? Journal? Somewhere in Wales. In UK? Wait, how do we go from the USA to the UK? So do we fly from the US to the UK? By the looks of it, yes. Writing in the journal again? Yeah, I'm going to start logging times of events. We can add those times in the documentary later. Oh, so they're doing a documentary. Might as well start now. I'll go get some water for the fire real quick. Okay, let's see here. 11.21 p.m. Save. Writing journal entry saves your game. You can open the journal at any time from the menu. The game will also open up a save menu after interviews, day ends, and documented events. Oh, are we doing some ghost hunting or something? Turn on your flashlight, I'm gonna put this out. Did the flashlight run out of batteries? I think so. I think it just got knocked too hard in the backpack. Hold on a second. Oh no. Just got bumped or something. Alright, let's get settled in then. Oh no. Do we have to play like this? Five forty six AM. Oh, so they just went to bed. This is already nerve wracking. Hmm, a little rainy, but nothing serious. We can get some recording and maybe we could shoot some of our intro while we're here. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
I'm not ready yet, though. Go look for a place to film. I should be ready when you get back. Don't run into any ghosts or cults, will ya? Oh, they're ghost hunters. I guess correctly. Damn, I'll try not to. Be back soon. I don't need to go in there right now. So... Okay, that's settings. And that's saving. Okay. Okay, I can run. That's good. Oh, I like this. I like the stuff. Look at those trees. Good trees. Tire swing. Can I interact with it? Can I swing on it? I would love to swing on it. So we're looking for a place to record, or are we just exploring? There's the car. Hmm. Maybe we should drive into town and ask some locals. I should go ask Isabel. The noise effects are so good. Can't hear much of a crunch underneath his feet when he moves. Except when he traverses into other places. So the tire swing is... Really, the only good location we have. I was thinking about driving into town and asking, uh, talking to some of the locals. Let's get a quick shot of the tire swing and then we can go to town. Sounds good. I'll pack our important stuff and wait by the tree. Something's gonna happen to Isabel. Okay, I'll, I'll go set up by the tree. See you there. Let's talk to her. She's acting a little bit weird. I'll meet you at the tire swing. Why are you? Why do I have to meet you there, though? Is the question. She better not die on us. I swear to God. Okay, good. Um, hold on a second. Damn camera won't focus. Man, this lighting sucks. Whatever. Maybe it'll set the mood. Want to take a test shot first? Yeah, I gotta wipe the lens real quick. Yeah, because of all the rain. Ready? Yup, let's do this. <whistles> Test. Five seconds. Got it. Clear. Let me check the footage. Do we get to see it? Or... The rain's a little overpowering. I suppose a lav could make it a little better. Now let's try this again. Audio levels seem fine. The lab has taken out some of the background noise. Try testing it now. Go. Um, testing audio. Testing audio. It's currently two. Sorry, five fifty-two a.m. It is a rainy and dark. It's rainy and dark today. Clear. Let's hear that back. Ooh, Jesus! What was that? That was so loud. Is one of the cables loose? Um, nope. All the cables are in. Let's try again. Maybe it was a glitch. Please don't play that noise again. That was so loud. Recording. Testing, testing. Is this mic broken? Please work so we can start filming. Yeah, let's listen to this again. Please don't blast my ear eardrums out. Oh, it's actually working. Maybe one of the cords was loose. Who knows? Maybe. Either way, we got everything set up now. Let's actually record our first clip now. It's starting to rain harder. Ready when you are. Action. It was currently August 19, 2017. 2017! Damn. At 5.54 a.m. We're currently in an unknown location. Located Prem Bay Forest in search of paranormal activity. Oh, they are ghost hunters. That's really cool. Many strange occurrences have happened here throughout the years. But the real question is, are these events merely campfire stories or the truth? We are here to solve that mystery once and for all. For the next two weeks, my husband and I aww, are going to be camping in the middle of the forest in hopes we can uncover some truth of, the, of these tales. We will document anything and everything that happens throughout this documentary. Right now we are going to interview locals in the area in hopes we can get some insights of the strange cases that have taken place in this forest. Cut. That's perfect. Perfect.
Was it good? It was perfect. I think it was a great introduction. It was almost creepy enough to make me second guess staying out here for the next few weeks. Better not ditch me. I don't I don't want to stay out here any longer than we have to. Honestly, this place gives me a really bad feeling. It almost makes me nauseous. Trust me, I know where you're coming from. There's definitely something not right about this place. Let's get going. We've got people to interview. Ha! <laughs> that is, if anyone will listen to us, they'll probably think we're just some stupid Americans. <laughs> Ugh, I hope not. How far is this drive, is the question. Wow, we're really out in sticks, aren't we? We've been driving for, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, around there. Uh, it's been 23 minutes uh, already. I hope nothing bad happens while we're in the woods. I feel like something's gonna happen to Isabel. Same here. What if the car just breaks down right now? White Mile, Wales. 6.33 a.m. Let's check this common area first. Then let's head to the main lodge and talk to some residents. Ah! That's nice. We go in here? We can. Hi, we've wandered into your house, stranger. Excuse me, sir, may we talk to you for a minute? About what? We're filming a documentary about Pembrey Forest, and we're trying to ask locals what they think about the area. Pembrey, I can tell you some things about it. I've got some stories of my own to tell, too. Do we have your permission to film, sir? Go for it. I don't see a problem, would it? A. Audio's good, video's good. Okay, we are ready. Ah, how rude of me. Would you mind telling us your name? My name is Ethan Hill, and you guys are... My name is Isabel Porter, and that's my husband, Andrew. Well, it's nice to meet you two. I love telling my stories from Pembrey. Are you nervous? A little bit. I've never been interviewed like this before. That's okay, just act normal. Pretend this camera isn't here, and you're telling your story to your buddies. Okay, okay. Ready to go? Yep, let's do this. Let me run down what we're going to ask you, just so you're prepared. First, introduce you and state the location. Second, we'll ask you what you think about the Pe Pembrey Woods. Then you'll tell us about what you've heard others say about the area. Finally, we'll ask you. We'll ask for any personal experience if you wish to share them or have any. Sound good? Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. Okay, good. Let's start. Three, two, one, action. Currently with Ethan Hill, a local uh, a local on the outskirts of Pembrey Forest. Ethan has some information on Pembrey and a few stories of his own. Thanks for joining us, Ethan. Thanks for having me. I'd love to give some info to you guys. So, Ethan, what do you think of Pembrey Woods? I think it's terrifying. Something always feels a little off in there. I just can't place my finger on it. It's such a surreal feeling. Like knowing something bad is going to happen, but you just don't know when. Andrew and I spent the night on the edge of the forest last night. We both know the feeling you're describing. Have you heard about Pembrey? My grandmother told- sorry, how have you heard about Pembrey? I can't read. My grandfather told me a story of when he was on a hunting trip with his friends in Pembrey. What happened exactly? He told me that they, they were deer stalking, but ventured a little further into the woods than they had hoped for. It was apparently too dark, and they just kept walking in circles before they decided they just had to spend the night. Nobody really wanted to, considering everyone knew the legends of Pembury Forest. But still, they felt as if they had no other choice. After making a small fire and a few makeshift shelters, they finally all started to doze off. My grandfather had told me that he woke up a little later because he heard something odd. He describes it as a shuffling sound, like something was walking through the woods. Thinking it was a deer, he had hoped to catch a glimpse of it in hopes they could track it when dawn came. He said that the shuffling continued for a few minutes before he could finally see it. What he saw made his blood run cold. He said it was a tall, dark figure, easily two meters tall. The most unnerving part- is this fucking slender? The most unnerving part of this creature was that it was clearly trying to observe them. My grandfather said it walked strange, some sort of shambling- it was some sort 
of shambling from a tree to tree while keeping its focus on them. He pretended to be asleep, but watched it lurk around them for what seemed like hours. Eventually, it walked up into the woods, making a small shuffling sound as it moved further away. When the shuffling sound no lo was no longer audible, my grandfather waited about ten minutes until he woke up his friends and insisted that they leave immediately. After describing what he saw to his friends, they remembered the tales of what they heard and did not hesitate to pack up in a matter of seconds. My grandfather said that he knew it was still out there, watching them make their escape. He said that he wouldn't look behind them because he knew he would see it, watching them from behind a tree. That was in 1966, though. My grandfather gave up hunting and never returned to it. I believe him completely. And there was an avid hunter. He was an avid hunter. For him to just give it all up in a single night, just not making sense, he was telling the truth. What a truly terrifying story. I hope we don't run into whatever your grandfather saw that night. <laughs> it would make great, uh, good footage, wouldn't it? <laughs> that is true. We are trying to get proof while we're here. Do you have any experience of your own would you like to share? Yeah, I do. A few months ago. Oh, we're getting a flashback. My friends, Roger and Sarah and I, were going to make a scary video in the woods. Oh, boy. I can't believe we're going there. This is stupid. I believe it is stupid. We'll be fine. You're overreacting. Why does Roger look like he's gonna punch him in the face for some reason? Roger's just that typical boy who's just like, ah, fuck you, yoink. Ooh, Sarah's pretty cute, though. Wouldn't say that. I've heard too many stories. I hope we do see something. If we got footage, we'd be famous. Famous? That'd be awesome. I'd probably fill... I'd probably fill my trousers if something really was out there, though. Oh, nice. If you see something, at least get it on film. And don't record in vertical. <laughs> I just read the end part. Don't record in vertical mode, you get <laughs> Honestly, mate. <laughs> Typical British people. <laughs> this is literally how I talk half the time. Honestly, mate. The video of Joe jumping off the balcony. We couldn't see shit because you're recording vertically. <laughs> you busted up his leg for the video and you didn't even get the shot. Don't remind me, please. Joe was pretty upset about that. Hey, can we please stop messing about? And just drive to Pembrey already. Ugh, fine. I'll go drive. I'll go drive up the car. You guys make sure you got extra batteries for yourselves. Do we get to play as Ethan? Does Roger have an ex? Does Roger have extra batteries too? I'm gonna say no. No, he said he didn't need any extra. Okay, then let's just wait for him to drive up. Oh boy. What is happening? Okay, they drive there pretty quick. Damn, it's dark. This looks like a good place to enter through. So what's the plan? Everyone get your phones out, record the whole time, put it in horizontal mode. Roger, you'll take the lead. Sarah gets middle and I'll keep back. Now just hold on a moment, why do I have to go first? Play rock, paper, scissors, see who goes first. Are you kidding me? Not at all, it's only fair. Sarah can stay out of it. She can take the middle. I'm not complaining. Fine, but all decisions are final. I'll read it off. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. Shoot. Ha, you lose. You take the point instead. Well, fuck. I feel like no matter what, you would lose. Camera's on. Oh, I actually play. Oh, that's kind of nerve-wracking. At least you have a wide view when you first start out, at least. Can I not run? I cannot run. The trail should be on the map. Let me check. Flip. Can I get some light, Ethan? Don't turn around. Okay, this path splits right here. We should go east. It seems to lead deeper into... What the fuck was that? That's not like a deer. I think it's just some animal. 
Guys, I'm gonna go find out what it is and get out on video. Are you insane? Do you realize where we are? I don't care. We're going to be famous. The trail comes back. The, this trail comes back together up ahead. I'll meet you guys there. Just go northeast. Oh my god, you're gonna die. This dude's gonna die. Is he crazy? Should we go after him? For a guy basically pissing himself a few minutes ago. I'm surprised he didn't run back to the car. God damn it, Roger. If we go after him, we're all gonna we're all going to get lost. Let's just go northeast like he said. Then we'll get to where the trails meet, and he's not there. Let's wait 15 minutes. If he doesn't show up in 15 minutes, we'll call the police and head back to the car. Why do you have to walk so slowly, though, my man? Just why? The thought of what's hiding in the dark is so nerve-wracking, but it's also quite cool to see a gameplay like this. I would prefer to be in the middle of this path, thank you very much. There's no way I'm going to be in the middle of this path. Oh god. This way? It is so dark. Why are they traveling? Was that a ghost? What was that? I'm not tripping. What was that? Little spoopy ghost. That was a ghost, right? I actually got goosebumps playing this. What is this? Is this a house? Ah, oh, idiot. Roger? Roger? Oh my... Jesus, Roger! You asshole, we thought you were hurt. Calm down, calm down, I'm sorry. Found out what the sound was. It was just an elk. But I still couldn't find it. But my flashlight ran out of battery and I had nothing but the moonlight to guide me here. I knew you didn't pack any. Why would you let me just run off with no extras? Hey, that's your own responsibility. Plus, you're being a little too ballsy. Well, I didn't mean to sound like that. Can we just get out of here? Something doesn't feel right. As I was running around, my eyes started welling up from how scared I was. When I got here, I calmed myself down by playing games on my phone. Then I decided about pranking you guys would be way more fun. You're a dick for that. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. It wasn't any. It wasn't any easier for us. I was. I was scared shitless. I don't know about Sarah, but I was really uneasy out there. Same here. There's really something not right about this place. Wait, we didn't get any good footage. Want to make? A fake real, uh, fake one real quick. Just clickbait, uh, clickbait it like everyone else. Screw it, yeah, let's do it. Let's go to the place where we felt chill earlier. That was a scary location. Sounds good. You mean the one with the ghosty? Camera's still rolling. Yep, you can start any time. Okay, talk about why we're here and pretend what you that you see something behind us. Then we'll run back to the car and get views. Roger. That, oh my god. Shut the hell up, mate. Start any time. Alright, now it's currently 1.27 a.m. in the middle of Pembrey Forest. We're going to try film some paranormal things for you guys, so stay tuned. We're going to set up a small camp right here and hope. Guys, what the hell is that? Cut. Good, now let's just run back to the car and get out of here. Did he actually see something, though, is the question. This is the same bridge, right? Yeah, no doubt. Okay, just making sure. There is a ghosty! Did you guys see that? There is a ghosty! Please tell me you got that on film. No. Time to go, I don't feel good. Spoopy ghosts! We left the woods and didn't look back. Something was out there. It was then I knew that Pembrey Woods is in fact haunted. We kind of guessed it was haunted, but... By what? Can't even uh, begin to imagine how that was. It was like pure terror. I'll never go back. And frankly, I don't think you guys should be out there either. There's something out there, and it's not welcoming. Well, Ethan, thank you for take taking the time to talk with us and share your experience. My pleasure. Be safe out there, guys, and good luck on your documentary. 
That's a wrap. Good job, you two. Do you got to be anywhere, Ethan? If not, you, sh you should come get something to eat with us. Sorry, but I can't. I was only supposed to stay at this lounge for an hour, and I'm already past the time I'm supposed to be back. You have family at the camp. Yeah, my girlfriend is alone with the kids right now. Oh, and she let me take a short break. She'll probably get back through. Well, thank you so much for the information. I hope to see you again sometime. Likewise. Oh, before I forget, here's my phone number in case you need any more information. Hell yeah. We got a friend. Starting to rethink this trip. I mean, you guys flew from America to UK. Come on. I don't think it'll be that bad. At least I hope not. Should we go to the main lodge now? Yeah, let's go. But, want to play pool? Er, not right now, okay. Ah, Killjoy. What's this? It's full of maps and various other papers. Pet rules. Pick up after your pets. Never leave a pet unattended. Don't leave any pets locked in vehicle. The rest is common sense. Fair enough. Park safety. Make sure to be safe when camping. Please pull... Sorry, please put out all fires before you sleep and never leave a fire unattended. Never wander through the forest at night without a flashlight. Due to recent events, be advised that nobody enters the forest alone or at night. Enjoy your stay at the campsite. Okay, so where's the main lodge? Is it up this way? Points to the main lodge. What's this way then? Are we going back to the car? Aww, but I want to know what's the other way. Good morning, people. That was a lot of stairs. It's empty. Nobody's here. Sure looks that way. You think there's some sort of activity or something going on? On a rainy day like this? Not likely. I remember when I was in the Girl Scouts, we did some stuff outside on rainy days. Hmm, you may be right. What do you think we should do? We've been here for half an hour. I swear we head somewhere else. Yeah, that interview was pretty good footage. Want to grab a bite to eat before we get to our next location? Yeah, there should be a little dinner around here somewhere. No point in staying here any longer, I suppose. Let's get going. But... I'm so confused. So no one's here, but the guy said his girlfriend was here. Is there nothing else we can interact? No, not by the looks of it. Okay. Are you sure you want to leave? You'll be evaluated and the day will end. You'll not be able to return to this day, so make sure you have explored as much as you wish. Oh, it's in days. Okay. Oh. What? Okay, there's the boat we saw in the beginning. There's a car here. An abandoned car. Documented. Thank you for the fucking jump scare of saying documented. Jesus Christ. Why is an abandoned car so important, though? The lodge is empty, but that was not documented. Oh yes, I love walking on stumps. <laughs> is that it? But what's with this? I can document the car, but not this. I guess it's not that important. What about if I interact with other cars? I just realized there's a spider web up there, so is Ethan dead? And it's full of garbage. But it's full of garbage and there is cars here. But where's people? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick thorough sweep. If I don't find anything, we'll just go back to the car. Okay, guys. I found nothing, so we're just gonna go back to the car and end the day. Yes. Day complete. So did I get a summary or no? You recorded one interview today, because there was only one person. You recorded one interviews in total. You documented one unique theme today. You documented one unique theme in total. 
Well, I think today was a good start to our documentary. Yeah, I agree. Ethan had a pretty good story to tell. I wish they had proof. Well, I just got a good idea. We should ask Ethan if he still had the other clips from that night. Uh, then we could do a narration over it. That's actually a great idea. He gave us his phone number. I'll text him about him later. Want to get ready for bed? Yeah, why not? Zweep. What? Ugh. What the fuck is that? Is he having a nightmare? Is this... Where am I? He's having a nightmare. Won't open. Won't open. It's too foggy to see anything. Nothing under this bed. Nothing under this one either. The door won't budge. Oh, I don't like that. Hmm, a door opening by itself? How comforting. The noises are so loud! What? This is spooky. There's a light over here. Can I get to it? Can't even tell what's that way. It's just so hard to get to it. Okay, I can get down here, though. Oh. Thank you for the heart attack and a half. That's enough of that. Thank you. A cage. Was that another spoopy ghost above? I don't know if it was or not. Okay, how do I get to the light room? Oh! What? Am I the spoopy ghost now? What is this? Well, that's welcoming. But... Okay, well he says the same things. Oh, look! That's where the thing is! Okay, how do I get there? Okay, this way. I wish I could run. Oh! That's totally not spooky. Isabel, is that you? That's not Isabel, mate. What the hell happened to you? Oh! I got lost. What? What? He's definitely- Okay, thank you. <sighs> Wait a minute. He's stuck in a continuous nightmare. Wasn't I just here? One open. Still nothing here. Once again, nothing under this one either. Won't open. Why is the fire- What is happening? One episode in and I already have to blur things. Hello?
rip my poor ears. Ah. So he was having a nightmare. Whoa, calm down. What the hell is wrong with you? I had a bad dream, that's all. What happened in it? It's hard to remember. You were there, but you were covered in blood. And I was in this building. Nowhere we've ever been before. And I remember also seeing you... Uh, I also remember seeing an apparition of some sort. It looked like a child. Hmm. Well, it's nothing but a dream. Pack your things. We're going into town today. My things are still in the car. I'll just wait for you. And I think that's the perfect time to end this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!